Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today I will present about the online assignment LOG 2633 video presentation My name is Imran Afiq B. Abdul Rahman ID number PDL190524 And I am from DLM Sius A And my letter name is Madam Nur Atikah Binti Abbas So for the question number 1 Describe the network carrier and how integrated cargo network operate for my answer is network carrier operate a network of schedule A service to and from their airports. Country use their own hub so that uh, they can maximize the A traffic ride uh, that they can use. Passenger and A cargo can be carried between any two points of their network using a single or multiple flight. Uh, Alias partner may fly one or more leg of multi-sector trip and may say sector that they do not operate uh, using the code of their partner airlines. So how integrated cargo operate? Uh, based on four elements, uh, door-to-door -door service, uh, fast and reliable transport, uh, guarantee, uh, delivery time, and last one is tracking system. Okay. Uh, in addition, parcel uh, would be delivery to hub airport by small aircraft or truck and sort using an automated handling system before being flown to a destination airport or another region hub for final distribution. Okay, over time, four company have come to dominate the integrated market. Uh, examples such as uh, FedEx, UPS, DHL, and other companies. Number 2 Explain the idea low-cost carrier and able to provide a more service to freight forwarder For my answer is uh, LCC stands for low-cost carrier uh, referring to kind of airlines These are typically described as a cheaper, no frail or budget airlines uh, the, the flight type uh, that LCC provide are uh, generally short Whole with the majority of the booking being made online. Uh, most LCC operate uh, short and medium hull road with narrow boarding aircraft such as uh, the B737-700 or A319-A320. Uh, this aircraft have a very limited lower deck uh, cargo capacity. Then, uh, the benefit of using LCC is a uh, cheap. The cost of low cost carrier is cheap and reasonable. Uh, the low cost carrier operate with the special high emphasis of minimizing operating cost and without some of the added service. And the second one is a cheap parking. Low cost airline using flight to small airports. Uh, this means the parking is going to be uh, significantly cheaper as the largest airport will charge you uh, more for a parking space okay uh, one of the example of company that provide a low cost carrier is ASIA ASIA sell lower deck space on a bulk loading A320 uh, so this will give some of benefit and added to uh, freight forwarder to use a low cost carrier service Moreover, the goods will arrive quick and smooth to the final destination with a cheap price and will save the expenses. So, we go to question number 3. From your understanding, describe any Etihad cargo product that has managed to encourage more shippers to use air freight in their logistic process. In my view, Etihad has managed to encourage more shoppers to use air freight in their logistic process for product like fresh food, uh, pharmaceutical, medical supply, agriculture, and fishes. As we know, all of this product is appreciable uh, and thus not easy to handle. All of these goods have an expired date. As we know, air freight is the faster mode of transportation uh, compared to other mode of transportation. Air freight guarantee that goods are delivered faster since it will only take 2 or 3 days for goods to arrive at the final destination. So the product are still fresh and in good condition and this will make a customer feel satisfied with the service. Next, using air fright, less packaging needed to protect the product. Because air fright have a special containerization handling for each type of product. So this will save the expenses 
uh, for packaging and will cut costs for delivery. So, this will encourage shipper to use air freight in their logistic process because air freight can carry almost everything and the most important thing is the product arrive quick to the final destination. Next question number 4. The issue in air cargo capacity is when traffic begins to pick up, freight rate can move up again quite rapid as a shortest of capacity April on the same road. Give your opinion in the recovery process of gaining back air freight demands. So, for my answer is, we don't know when pandemic COVID-19 will end. Air freight is a sector that been mostly affected. This COVID-19 will take a several years to recover. In my opinion, in the recovery process of gaining back air freight demand, uh, the first one is first make a collaboration with other companies. Collaboration encourage companies have a greater data sharing, thus more digitalization across the ecosystem will encourage the industry our uh, emerges from the pandemic become more responsive, more eager and more financial sustainable than ever before. So the second one is uh, reduce unpopular route. When doing this company, uh, when doing this, company can focus to provide a service uh, product to popular road. Uh, company can also provide uh, incentives and promotion to encourage new demand. Moreover, uh, this will help to increase the company revenue because company focus on the service that customer want to buy. So, for the last one, is uh, research for the new product identified a new opportunity. A freight company need to analyze and understand about a new market in the pandemic, COVID-19. In order for the company to provide attractive product, uh, demographic and targeted population needs to be understood. The last one is question number 5. The chance for air cargo demand to grow certainly be closely linked to gross domestic product and trade growth for one country. How does GDP related to the air cargo demands? So, my answer for this question is Gross domestic product GDP is one of the most widely used measure of an economy output or production. It is defined as the total value of goods and services produced within a country broadly in a specific time period. GDP is an accurate indicator of the size uh, of an economy and the GDP growth rate is probably the single best indicator of economic growth. Okay, other than that, GDP can relate to income of country. Okay, one of the most important uh, aspect of country gross domestic product GDP, it is a trade balance. When there is a trade surplus, GDP rests because the total value of goods and services are exported by domestic produce exceeds the total value of goods and services imported by domestic consumer. When the demand from domestic increase, this will help a cargo demand increase as well. D is because when domestic demand in country increase, people want to use a freight mode of transportation to export and import goods. Other than that, a freight company can make a research from the data and statistics from GDP to provide a new service to customer. For example, during this uh, during this pandemic COVID-19, all countries are affected by COVID-19. So, medical supply is needed such as masks, vaccine, vitamin and other than that. So, they need a cargo service to import those kind of goods because a transportation is the suitable mode of transportation quicker and smooth to arrive at the final destination. So, that's all from me. Online assignment LOG 263 video presentation. Thank you.